one of a motions hearing for a man accused of murdering and mutilating his own parents. You know, this is a gruesome crime. It shocked our community back in November 2016. It happened over the Thanksgiving holiday weekend. Yeah, Joel Guy, now 30, was arrested in Baton Rouge and charged with two counts of first degree murder. He has since been held in the Knox County Detention Facility. New at four, WATE six on your side reporter Bridget Biorlo brings us inside the courtroom as this case finally gets underway. It's been more than years since Joel Guy allegedly murdered both of his parents, then proceeded to dissolve their bodies in acid. But today he made his first appearance in court. The man at the center of the brutal double murder of his own parents appearing in court for the very first time. Who else was staying at the house on Wednesday? Uh, just my mother. On Thursday, uh, Thanksgiving, Joel Guy is accused of stabbing his mother and father to death, then dismembering them and dissolving their bodies in acid over the 2016 Thanksgiving weekend. In court, Guy took the witness stand at his own hearing, not talking about the crimes themselves, but detailing the aftermath, like the injuries to his hands. I had some rather severe cuts on my hands. Um, I had a cut on my right palm right here where there's a scar, and I was like, a uh, very severe cut on my left palm. A possible motive, detectives say they believe Guy's parents were planning to cut him off financially, a discussion they were planning on having over Thanksgiving. Evidence shows Guy had taken out money both before and after his parents' murders, $9,200 to prepay his apartment rent and another hundred in spending cash. Your uh, mother provided you with all financing for your living expenses. Yes. Judge Bob McGee will hear a number of motions involving this case over the next couple of days with his final decisions expected to be made by end of day tomorrow. In Knoxville, Bridget Bjorlo, WATE 6 on your side. All right, Bridget, thank you. Now the judge will have to decide how much evidence is admissible at the trial if the case gets to that point. Yeah, you know, still no word on how Guy's mental health will play a role in his defense, but of course we're going to follow the story closely for you. Well, the